Shalom family, this is Liani and today's video is the meat of the word series. So I posted um a just a, like a, a message maybe, I guess it was a few days ago. I can't even keep my days together, but bear with me. I guess it was a few days ago. Anyhow, we are going to get into for the new year, the meat of the word. So if anybody knows about the milk and the word and the meat of the word, the meat of the word is pretty much for the mature um, people, if you will, that are ready to go into deeper things. The milk is for the ones that were just starting off. You got to kind of sp spoon feed them and things of that nature. But for the meat of the word, you're ready to pick up your fork and your knife and you're ready to just dig into God's word with everything that you have in you because your spirit hungers and thirsts for the truth and for the wisdom that comes from the Lord our God. So it's going to be a series. I don't know for how long it depends on what the Lord says because I don't do this out of my own strength. So whatever the Lord is saying, then that's how long it's going to be. So it's led by the Holy Spirit. We will see where this takes us for how long. Amen. So let's go to Hebrews 5, 11 through 14. Again, that's Hebrews 5, 11 through 14. And I'm just going to read it out of my Bible. Hebrews 5, 11 through 14 reads, there is much more we would like to say about this, but it is difficult to explain, especially since you are spiritually dull and don't seem to listen. You have been believers so long now that you ought to be teaching others. Instead, you need someone to teach you, again, the basic things about God's word. You are like babies who need milk and cannot eat solid food. For someone who lives on milk is still an infant and doesn't know how to do what is right. Solid food is for those who are mature, who through training have the skill to recognize the difference between right and wrong. Thus saith the Lord. That was Hebrews 5, 11 through 14. So I also, I'm going to get into that, uh, what that just said, as well as I wrote down some notes. So I wrote down really briefly, I cannot break the word down to a person all at once. It has to be broken down piece by piece with care so all who hear can digest it. Otherwise, it will send a shock to the person's system. So we are flawed people, but we're saved by the grace of God in Jesus Christ who died for our sins. With the word, we don't want to keep spoon feeding, but we want all to understand and to know what the Lord our God says. So we don't want to rush it either. But now that we are moving into a different and shifting into a different atmosphere, it's time for us to feed on the meat, the potatoes, the vegetables and everything else under the sun that is pleasing to the sight of the Lord our God. We can't feed on the the inf the milk. Let me not. Can I say infamil? Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. But we can't. We can't feed on the baby formula anymore. OK, we're all grown here. I believe if not, then that's okay for the young ones. You train them up while they're young, you know, and they will not depart from it when they're older. So it's okay. Needless to say, with this word, we have to move on from where we've been. Now it's time to go into deeper things. Now it's time to be spiritually aware. Use your discernment over things. You already know that. Test every spirit. You already know that in all things we bring prayer with supplication and thanksgiving, make our requests known to God. You know these things, right? So now it's time to move on. Now we got to go a little bit deeper. Now we got to dig our heels in. We got to hear the hard stuff, the stuff that's hard to digest. But guess what? As we go through this together, as we are brothers and sisters, because I believe some on here are men, even though I'm not trying to teach the men, but some of them tune in. So praise the Lord, our God, for our brothers in Christ. Amen. But we're going to break this thing down. And we're going to get to the nitty gritty. We're going to go to the hard places. We're going to go talk about the things that the Lord our God wants us to deal with so that we can become the people that he has called us to be so we can be fit for the kingdom. So that's what this is. But it's I'm going to break it down and not give it to you all at once. But we're going to go through these things. We're going to um, 
break them down. We're going to see what the Lord our God says, what the Holy Spirit says about it so that no one will be lost because we don't want anyone lost. We want everybody to be on one accord on the same page for the building up of the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. So what that was saying is that, again, and going back to what I just said, basically pretty much is the same thing is that um, certain people are on the milk, some are on the meat. He needs us to be on the meat and no longer on the, no longer, excuse me one second, no longer on the uh, milk of the word because that's not for us. The enemy is busy. The Lord rebuke you in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Um, Amen. So um, with that, with the meat of the word, that's the more mature thing. That's the more seasoned thing. That's the more um, adult, if you will, thing for us that we can grow in our spiritual walk, that we can begin to teach others because we have to spread the gospel throughout the nation. And how do we do that? Well, we sit under 